Hello everyone and welcome back to Space Engineers tutorial series. This time we're starting the new planetary tutorials with the first one, climbing on planets. Operating within gravity environments brings its own set of challenges. This tutorial will explain different methods of ascending and climbing. Let's get going. All right, everyone, here we are, underground. You're underground on an Earth-like planet. Press J to remove your helmet and breathe the oxygen atmosphere. You can see we got our helmet on. Turn on the lights here. And hit J. Look at our sexy mug. Alright. Uh, your suit is sealed and if you do not remove your helmet you'll exhaust its oxygen reserves and suffocate. We need to make our way to the surface. I'll turn off the light here. Pick up this hand drill in this container, or pick up the hand drill. Look at the conveyor hatch and press I. This all should be familiar from the previous tutorials. Yeah, let's take those. Oh, that's over there. Somewhere else, I can't reach it yet. Recharge suit, suit energy if needed by taking a seat. Eh, we're fine, we got plenty of energy. Number three. Sometimes you may find yourself stuck in a hole without enough hydrogen to enable you to escape by using your jetpack. In such circumstances, it is possible to mine a ramp upwards and dig yourself out of a hole. You will need to do that here. Follow the direction of the arrow and try to dig a ramp upwards. You can equip the hand drill by pressing G. You have nine toolbars, you can switch between them. That should be all pretty familiar. Looks like I already have that in my toolbar here as number six. Let's go ahead and pull that up. Now if we were to hold left click, it'll drop rocks on the ground and make a smaller hole like that. And if I hold right click, make a bigger hole. Let's kind of just go upwards here. There we go. Nice little ramp. Deposit your hand drill into the collector to continue. Uh, accessing your inventory by pressing I and drag the drill under the large X. Drop down here. Looks like it'll get piped around and fall on top of that sensor. Alright, so let's do that. Drill received. Cool. In this room, you will have to build a scaffold to progress. Access the container and add the steel plate to your inventory. You need steel plate to place armor blocks. All right. Steel plate, there's that steel plate from earlier. Build scaffolding. Building scaffolding is a good way to reach higher areas without relying on your jetpack. Add the following blocks, light armor slope and light armor block. Use these to build a scaffold ramp up to the panel button panel at the top which will open the hangar doors and allow you to proceed. Okay, so we'll get a block and a slope. And they've already got it started for us here. Bada boom like that. Is that will it stay attached? Do I need to have a supporting block? Uh, I think you're supposed to. Alright, welcome back. I just went ahead and finished that off real quick. Okay. So I need to get out of the hole. I jump up onto that. There we go, from the corner. 
Nice. It's possible to reach elevators or to build elevators using pistons to reach higher areas. This is an example using pistons stacked on pistons to reach further than a single piston allows. However, they can be more simple and still provide a lot of utility. For example, if a ship has a cockpit that is unreachable from the ground. That's cool. The next chamber requires you to use your jetpack to reach the exit. Jetpacks consume hydrogen fast when on planets. If you have a personal tank of hydrogen in your inventory, your fuel will automatically replenish until the tank is empty. Well, I don't think I have a tank. Thank you for the open door. Refill hydrogen bottles here. Press X to turn on a jetpack. Yep. Pick up hydrogen tanks here. Cool. Whoa. Why am I why am I dying? It's like I was suffocating. Oh, because there's no air in this room, I guess. Closed off. Right, let's go ahead and put the uh, bottles in here to get filled. Look at that. A lot of hydrogen bottles. All right. All done. Freedom. Well, thank you guys for watching, and we'll move on to the next one next time.